Hey guys, we're doing it the easy way today with Daniel Sobere. He's a Ford model, Calvin Klein model, actor, video game celebrity, and t doing tons and tons of stuff. Welcome to the Easy Show, guys. I'm your host, Easy, and let me tell you, I came from Orange County, okay? I was at Dana Point having a meeting, and my, my, my girl, my partner, Pepper, calls me up and says, hey, Daniel Sober is at the studio. So I drove an hour and 20 minutes to be here, do this interview with the man himself, Mr. Sobre. Shake my hand. It's okay. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> Daniel Sobre, you guys, if, if you, if you want to meet a Calvin Klein model, uh, what, Hugo Boss, I mean, pretty much every, every company there is, this guy's modeled for. If, <laughs> if there's underwear and they want a six-pack, they call Daniel. Trust me, trust me. That's right. And you've, you've been in the client list with, uh, with Jennifer Love Hewitt. You've, yeah. done, you've done celebrity stuff with video games, mm -hmm. uh, Call of Duty, and uh, you can hook me up with God uh, of War. God of War, yeah. yeah. And uh, now we're in the easy show, doing it the easy way. We started out with the podcast. You know, we had, I don't know, four or five callers come in and ask a couple good questions. Right, right, yeah. Well, most of the people that watch the show, I think really w what I would want to know, it, looking at someone of your stature and where you've, where you've been, who you're working with or whatever, we talked about this in the podcast, but let's get a little bit more detail of, of like, you know, how you become a model. How do you get to that, to that, to that agency? How do you, you know, get to the right connections to, to move forward? Right, right. Um, you know, I... I can only give you my advice from my experience because I think everyone kind of goes about it in a slightly different way and, you know, just quote unquote their path in life or, um, you know, whatever you want to say it might be. But you, I think the best thing and, and what I tell a lot of people when I speak uh, to up and coming models and um, different conventions and stuff at, um, I'll be doing one in New Mexico actually at the end of the month. And um, you just tell them that, you know, you need to, the idea of being a model is great. But then be a little more specific. What kind of model do you want to do? What clothing lines do you like? What products would you want to endorse? Um, I think that will give you a little bit of an edge because you can kind of push yourself in that direction. Mm -hmm. And also knowing what you're capable of in the beginning as well. You know, what can I start off right now doing? Uh, just like in acting, you know, what do you start off right away doing? Most stuff is because the roles look like what you look like. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, they the characters are pretty close to who you are as a person. And then through the experience you branch off and What about getting to... with your team, the agent and, and the manager and all that stuff? Right. So um, that's that's the tougher side and I think a lot of people have uh, you know that that's where you find a lot of the walls or the roadblocks um, because it's the idea of like the agent kind of is the gatekeeper. He or she or the manager has all the contacts that can put you in front of the clients that you want to be in front of. But you, if you just walk in off the street and go into the office, you have a very high chance of them looking at you as a person that walked off the street walking into their office and so they'll be treated that way. If you take a year to uh, work on your own and, and, and get photographs going and maybe work on your diet or whatever those things that you want to make yourself as sharp as possible, you got to think of that agency as like a job interview. Mm -hmm. And then you make the phone calls and you email the photos and the people that are interested, you go meet with them. And how do you stay so fit? What's your diet? Uh, my Well, my diet is, um, I think it's pretty good. It's been something that evolves over time. You know, you... Uh, it's almost like a you feel like a scientist in the kitchen, you know. You you're mixing and matching, and you're trying this or trying that, or mm -hmm. someone says, "Ooh, this worked for me," so you try it, and then it makes you break out or <laughs> gives you horrible gas or something, and you're like, "Oh, that doesn't work for me." But uh, so yeah, it's just just finding, you know, a consistency. What can I eat every day? Mm -hmm. You know, I, if I'm eating something and it tastes horrible and I want to throw up. I'm not going to be able to do that every day. So no You'll pizza, break. ice cream. Uh, well, I love it. I mean, they're delicious, just, right? Isn't that like it's the best thing in the world? That's the best, but that's not the right if you want to be a model. Right. So you just okay. put it like, you know, how bad do you want something and what are you willing to give up for it? What are you willing to do? Now to listen to them, guys, because, I mean, can you pull your shirt up a little bit for the ladies? All or, right. Well, just a quick one. Just just for the easiest. That, look at that. Look, look at that. Now look at those pictures right there and, 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 all, and all, <laughs> the, all, that, all that footage. Like, this is the man right here, you know, and, and I'm not really trying trying to, to be a model. I'm a host, an actor, you know, social media branding guy, whatever. That's my thing. But the, the viewers right now that are watching, they're like, oh my God, that's Daniel Silver. You know what I mean? Like you've been I hope game. so. I, yeah, right. that's kind we, of the objective. We, we, we right? hope, right. <laughs> so, all right, let's go into oh, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Oh, oh man, yeah. the, the client list. You got to have a part with Jennifer Love Hewitt in a towel. Pretty what much, a part, right? Like, what, what a part. part. <laughs> pretty much naked. 
Okay. Yeah. And please, please, yes, there, there we go, guys. And you got paid for it. Yeah. You got paid to to be with Jennifer Love Hewitt naked in a towel. How does that and, happen? And have like a makeout scene. Yeah. And you got to make out with her. Well, fake making out, but yeah. You, you still know. got to get close to the lips. Oh, uh, yeah, I got like a couple millimeters away. It was close, <laughs> you know, almost close enough to just uh. say, yeah, I made out with her. Dude, I, I met. Unless I'm, she watches this, then no, I didn't. I didn't make out. I met. I met her at, at a, um, a homeless shelter. We all had the um, the the aprons on, and we were like passing. Oh, the I was gonna say her. that was maybe when her career. The closest was I got to get to her was shaking her hand. You got to like get to the lips. Did they taste nice? Did it smell she nice? gave me a massage. I got paid to get a massage on the table. I'm making, I'm making it worse for you, aren't I? Look at this guy. Uh, I'm, I'm really rubbing. At least it I have something like. to dream about. It's just gonna be her, not you. But yeah, well, um, I hope so. So, all right, so so you, you did the client list, you've done soap operas, yep. you've, you've, I mean, there's what haven't you done in the entertainment field, do you think? Um, a lot, you know, there's a lot that you, the more you get into this and the more that I've kind of gotten deeper and deeper into it, there's just so many more things, I mean, voiceovers to cartoons and animation. I've done small levels of that, you know, but uh, I've never, like, something for Pixar or something on the on the bigger budget mm, side. The big studio stuff. Right, and also on the project side. It's like, I've done the CGI, I've done the green screen, I've done the action stuff, but not at a studio level. Mm -hmm. And so that's really kind of the goal is, you know, you want to work with those people at the top of the game because then you surround yourself with all of the great minds, the professionalism, and the tools and everything to make a, a full rounded project. So you are who you surround yourself with. Kind team. of right, yeah. Okay. It'd be like in the sports aspect, you know, would you want everyone wants to play on the Yankees because it's just the organization and the team is so amazing. Mm -hmm. And you want to be a part of that. And it's the same kind of mindset, I think, for, at least for myself. And speaking of sports, studio we, level. We you talked know. about you were in the, the high hockey. league of ho ice hockey. Yeah. And, you know, any, any cool stories? Will you beat anybody up on the on the, uh, the it would be a lot of people up. I mean, that was <laughs> it was. Uh, I get a lot of uh, guff or uh, or a slack, I guess you could say, from my friends because um, or the close friends that I had over the years of playing ice hockey because it is it's that you know in hockey players you're chewing tobacco and you're scratching yourself and you got beards and you're punching people in the face or hitting them over the head with your stick, and that was kind of my mentality. I was. Um, you know, like, I, I don't care about the face because mm. it's going to get wrecked anyways. I'm just going to be riddled with scars and bruises and, and whatnot if I follow my dreams and play in the Hockey NHL. Hockey players chew tobacco? I didn't, I didn't, I thought that was Yeah, like man, players. that's, yeah. Well, you baseball too, but yeah, a lot, you know, it's that thing is I think you chew tobacco because you can't smoke and ruin your lungs, but it's that, you know, after the game. It's just better to ruin your teeth and your gums. Or your lungs, you know. Got it. Yeah. Now, what about the Call of Duty <laughs> and, and uh, PlayStation 3 and getting into the video game stuff? And you you were, you were saying Man. that your family was, like, respecting you when you right. got into the video game. Right, that's where I got all the props. As a so. model, no respect. No. I mean, you've done everything Not in modeling, but, you know, then right. you get into the video game stuff. I'm just a weirdo in underwear, and, you know, and <laughs> the modeling pictures from my family. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's like uh, the cousins and the brothers and second cousins and nephews are calling you up. Oh my God! I saw I, I saw you on the video because they all play the game, and I you know I don't I don't play that game um, or video games very much, so I didn't really know the extent of how popular that game is and the reach. I mean, it's global. Mm. It's I've had my friend as a Navy SEAL in in Afghanistan, and he sent me an email. Oh my gosh, we're playing you in the game, you know. And this is in Afghanistan in the base, and their time off, they're playing the video game. How cool is that to like right, watch that, yourself as a video game right there? Like I got a comic coming out. You were yeah. talking about the animation thing. You yeah. need to be in my comic. You okay, know, right? I would love yeah. to. So and so he's video game. He's gonna be doing the comic thing, and and I, you're gonna hook me up with the game, right? Right. We got Call of Duty. Yeah, of we got. I'm gonna Whatever play. Whatever you want. I'm play it all the all the time. And so you're Zeus. I mean, not only are you in the game, but you're the star of a game, God of War, coming out. In the March. well, the star is actually this other character, Kratos, which no. is like Zeus's son. This is my show. You're the star. Zeus. Okay. Yes, I'm the star of the sh I'm the star of the video game. <laughs> They actually rewrote the the you know the whole script for, because I was decided to exactly. join they heard, the cast. They heard, they heard Daniel was coming. Right, right, right. So there's actually no other characters. It's all about me. Um, no, but I do. I play Zeus in the game. Uh, I was in God of War three, and then now in God of War Ascension, really God of War four. Um, that'll be out in March by Sony Studios. Well, so what you, what do you have coming up? Uh, I, I know have, we talked talked about you have a big movie, right? And that I'm waiting on. I'm kind of like in that 
position right now where you can't do too much because I can't get pulled too far out and not be prepared for the movie in October. Let's play a game. Let's let's see if we can not move our hands at all while we're talking. Just still talk to them. Can, I, can I like put them under my arm? No, no. Like this and, uh, you can. Okay. To answer the question. Like that. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> um, what were we talking about? Uh, know, stuff that's coming out. We were talking. We were talking about you have a movie coming out. Right. You're, you're the lead in the movie. Is that's there any, in October. Uh, any secret projects that? Nobody knows about that the Easy Show gets exclusively? Well, well, no, not so secretive. I do have a TV show that comes out um, August 20th, 9 o'clock on TNT. Oh, cool. Called Major Crimes, and it's the spinoff of The Closer. Nice. So it premieres this Monday, 9 o'clock at TNT, but I will be in the second episode. Okay, and you're playing? A very bad person. Oh. Ooh, I love it. Yeah. It's always good to know what's what's bad. Right. All right, guys, that's the easy show. Thank you for being the guest on the show. Thank Mr. you for Daniel. having me. Yeah, it was a pleasure you. meeting you at Wells Fargo. Plug. No. Yeah, right, right. Uh, wait, wait until you find out. That's like, a whole other Listen interview. to the podcast. Go to the podcast on thewtv.com. Search Daniel Sobre. Go to uh, Hot Talk LA. You're on Hot Talk LA as well. And listen to all the other info that we might not have gotten out. But you see, we get to see his face as we're talking to him as general. And my abs. And yes. your abs. I mean, my, the girls. That wasn't in the contract. Yeah. I just That's just because I like it. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll see, see you again next. The easy way. And now we never lose, never stop, we never play, we go get us, never play, just rolling the, the, the easy way. Life is hard, that's why I roll the easy way. Life is hard, that's why I roll the easy way. Life is hard, that's why I roll the easy way. Life is hard, that's why I roll the easy way. You never know who you're going to meet on eHarmony. Look who I found on eHarmony. I was so blessed to find Susan. I mean, who wouldn't want this hottie? Besides the Broncos. Oh. I get so bored by the conventional. I guess that's why we get along so well. He's a crazy man. <laughs> See what I mean? I don't even care that he's married. He's been divorced so many times, I know it's just a waiting game. Wichita, hello! I love everything about him. I love his beard, and, and I love the fact that he never wears a tie, no, and I love his tiny little rat-like features. She makes me smile. Tim is such a gentleman. He walked me to my car and gave me a peck on the cheek, and that was our third date. Oh, it's so refreshing. <laughs> Who would have thought I'd find the love of my life online? At eHarmony, compatibility is just a click away. Yeah, sure there's an age difference, but he's a lot sharper than some of the young guys I've dated. That hurt. They said Tim was a virgin, and I was like, no way. <laughs> he can't be a virgin. <laughs> but they weren't kidding. <laughs> I'm so excited to bring him home to meet my family at Passover. You're a Give it a try. You'll be happy you did. Come on. Come on. Come on, bitch. Give me show it to me. No! Show me. Let me see that! No. Let me see no. that! So sign up with eHarmony today! Hello? Mark Sanchez?